I just received this Galaxy S20 FE 5G and uh, I am disappointed from what I see here is very inconvenient see to hold this phone in your hand it's a little bit bulky bigger they move the buttons from left to right in comparison to my Galaxy S9 it's not that much bigger it's just the fact that this one is so far much more convenient when you hold this because see you have to hold your pinky right here to prevent it from sliding down because it's very slick even with a case it's still pretty slick so here very conveniently you have this uh, one button here for big C or whatever the heck that is and you have two buttons here up and down very conveniently so you don't have to give up the it's right all right here right right here here you don't have to reach and here's your power button right here so your power button and most of all most of all I like this phone that you have a sensor right here in the back as you hold the phone you just tap you just hold it right there just intuitively boom and it opens right away you don't need to do anything then you close it with your one finger this thing here look you hold it you support it with your pinky so it doesn't slide down because it's a heavier phone it's slick uh, it, it, it has no buttons here on the left whatsoever in the back they shifted the cameras to the left instead of the center and removed the back sensor for the fingerprint so you have no convenience anymore to do this so now you have no controllers here and where is the fingerprint where's the fingerprint take a wild guess where it is you don't know where it is and I don't know either because you cannot tell it's somewhere right here you have to see right there you have to touch if you don't touch then there you go it's already unlocked because it's looking at me it's looking at my face it did unlock but if it's in the dark you will be searching now if you if you don't have this camera let's say if you're in the dark if you start here's the power button and here how inconvenient you can barely touch the up and down and it hurts my wrist right here just to reach out to those they could have slided all these three buttons a little bit below shift them and it would have been power button here and and and, and it would be convenient for me to have those volume buttons right here but there's more this phone doesn't seem to have the pattern anymore so the only way to unlock it is with your facial recognition or the fingerprint which as you can see you have to kind of guess where it is when you touch the screen and it tells you then it, it, it sometimes it doesn't work so now let's say if you don't have a camera and you want to just to slide this thing right so you slide in it and here you go you now you have to punch in the code instead of a pattern and if you it would, even if it would be a pattern look how bulky this thing is as you're falling out of your hand you can you have to hold your pinky and how are you going to use your one hand you have to use your two hands to use this phone total piece of crap this phone is uh what is it i don't even know how much it is i think i paid like uh, 500 600 for it uh the bluetooth is not working with the earbuds i have galaxy earbuds the newer ones right here right it disconnects them while in the pocket so it's really it's really bad now also what else am I missing here yeah this stupid camera see even if you unlock the phone right you unlock the phone see this camera right here is kind of in the way of the center of the screen <clears throat> this camera is ridiculously huge as you can see how how big this thing in the middle of the screen it's just ridiculous I'm taking this phone back and uh, um, it's just not gonna work for me what else am I missing yeah it has no pattern very see like you hold it it is it, 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 it's just it jumped out of my it jumped when you put it in your pocket right here it's so heavy that when you drive a car it just falls it, it flies right out Galaxy S20 FE 5G is a big, big uh, problem for me.
I don't know about you, maybe you will like it. Some people with uh, huge hands, uh, maybe they like it, but I can't reach these buttons here. I have to use my pinky to control. And I have to, oh, there it is. Oh, okay. See, it doesn't even open. And it doesn't even open. Look, I'm touching. I already scanned seven times fingerprints. I have two, three fingerprints. It's a put your biometric bit 26 seconds. So it's locked out on me, which is totally ridiculous. Now I have to punch the code. And you have to press OK. After you punch the code, there's no pattern here. And you have to press OK. That's, that's really weird. This one doesn't have SD card. As far as I know, I have to double check on that, but I don't think it does because this is Galaxy S9 double and this is Galaxy S20. And when you place the uh, SIM card here, it's almost impossible to get it out. You have to really kind of just bend this thing a little bit to get the card out. It's very difficult. Uh, what I like about this phone is it has a nice camera. I don't know, I think it has a nice camera, I haven't tested it yet. And it's a little bigger screen maybe by half a centimeter in diagonal. But other than that, it's a total piece of crap. So, that's it, it's going back. Thank you so much. Stay safe.